Today we're going to be talking about the importance of building relationships in business. And this is Keisha. I'm sitting next to my amazing husband. This is Jason and welcome back to <laughs> Love, Love is, is a, a Verb. verb. And so today, leading off with our topic about building relationships in business and the importance of building relationships, like I think that is the focal point of every good business person is how they do with building relationships, right? Because I truly believe it's probably about 30% of what you know and 70% of who you know, and it might even be 80-20. It's really about who you know and how to build those relationships is what we're going to kind of talk about in this episode today or what works for us not necessarily like how to but this is what we've been doing and this is what has been been working for us i mean my wife is like queen of figuring out how to build relationships and you know i just think it's it's amazing some of her things have rubbed off on me but you know, let me let her tell you guys about how she does when you're building relationships. You're so sweet because as you said that, all I could think of was like, I feel the same way about you. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I honestly, like I'm the type of person that's like, and you know this, like I'm the type of person that's like, I'm going to work as hard as I can because I truly feel like hard work is going to pay off and get you to the top or get you to where you're going, right? Um, but I'm learning, like that is not always the case. Like I have learned that, it's all about who you know. Like, I mean, yes, that is a portion of it. Like you said, about 70, 30, I'd probably say maybe more like 60, 40, but um, it's about who you know. And like, if you're building those relationships, those um, friendships, those people that you're building those relationships with will want to work with you, will want to bring you along with them. Um, not to say that you should not work hard or still make that a goal. I do think that that is still very, very important because if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, Going, then who's going to want to, you know, like work with you. Um, but I do think it is also very important to like have those relationships with people, um, especially if you know, like they're already on the path that you're wanting to go, like mentorship and things like that. Um, but yeah, for me, like it's something that I'm still learning and I see Jason doing this every day, especially in like real estate because like he's out in the field. So like for you, it's completely different. Like I'm in the corporate world of real estate. So, um, everything's like virtual for me, but for you, it's like no. day to day is different. Well, I mean, it's, it's not different. It's just like, I thrive person to person, right? Like I used to be like, oh man, how how can I separate myself? And someone told me, he was like, they were like, you're really good in front of people. So use that to your advantage. And really the reason why I'm good in front of people is I generally care about the other person before me, right? Because a lot of times, especially, and I'll just use my real estate background. A lot of times we just want to spew out how amazing we are as individuals. And, and I've come to find out that when you're trying to build a relationship with a person, people don't really care about how amazing the other person is staring them in the face is. Yes, over time, that amazingness is going to need to show. So your work ethic, you know, your integrity, all those things that are good character things are going to be important. But in the moment of building relationships, what I do is I typically just ask people a ton of questions to try and really get to know them. You know, and there's sometimes it feels weird. You start off with the, with the, you know, general, like, oh, well, what do you do? You know, and then you follow up with a couple more questions. Then you go, okay, you marry, have kids, but, you know, just, just continue to ask the basic questions so it doesn't feel weird. And then as you, you'll feel, you'll feel the conversation where you can ask more tougher questions or, you know, things that you, you'll just feel it and you'll know where to go from the conversation. But you got to be an active listener to be able to do it. 
but generally people love talking about themselves. Like she wonders how good I am, but she just witnessed it. I really just ask people questions and let them talk about themselves. And then as they are, are talking about themselves and their, whatever they're going through in life, I just continue to agree with what they're going through in life. And, you know, I don't show any like support or any advice. I just like, okay, cool. Well, how did you handle, how did you handle that? How did you get through that? You know, and then they generally continue to talk and they're like, well, man, I'm still dealing through it. I'm, I'm still trying to actually actively, you know, figure, figure it out. And that's what we're all doing. We're actively trying to figure life out. But when you build relationships, like, you know, she's in the corporate world. So relationships mean if, if someone that manages her right now, maybe goes on to another, another position, they can say, Hey, Casey was really good. Once she worked hard, easy person to talk to builds good relationships. Okay. I might want to bring her over here on this side of the business. For me, in a very referral-based business, relationships is the lifeblood of me thriving. So I take it very seriously. And, you know, learning from her, which she could talk to you a little bit more about because she does virtual. But now when I'm going out, people like, you know, you know, age, age groups matter. So when I give you this tip, don't, don't it doesn't work if a person is, you know, over 50 necessarily. But I ask them for their social handle before I ask them for their phone number. You know, I think that that's going a long way in helping me build relationships with people right now. What, what do you think about that, babe? Yeah, 100%. You know, I'm a huge advocate on Instagram and following people that way. I'm really, really driving um, that for social media as like a, a driver for how I meet people um, right now. I've made a lot of friends virtually. So I definitely think Instagram is the way to go. I have so many people's contact information in my phone that, that I don't reach out to that I have met. Um, so Instagram just makes it easier. Facebook, use social media as another way to build relationships and to connect with people. Um, but I did want to like rewind and go back to like something that you were saying. Um, Cause I know I did witness and it's always great to witness you meeting new people. Um, but I do feel like people also gravitate towards energy. So I just wanted to touch on that. Like if you um, are putting the energy out there that you have good intentions and that you're genuine, people are going to gravitate towards that. So um, I say that just to say, like, always think about your mindset when you are going out. Like if you know, like, hey, I want to meet people, um, just make sure that you have like that mindset of like positivity and um, just good energy because then you'll attract what you want right and I see it happen with you all of the time <laughs> it's like people attract to us and I think um, that that just comes based off of the fact that we're like a light and that people can see our energy so I do feel like energy is also very very important but back to like the virtual world because um, I work from home for for work so um, it's a little bit different like for me keeping in touch with people um, really just comes from like checking in often, just reaching out to show people that I'm still here and just being present. Um, like for example, like one of the girls that I work with, um, her name's Julie in Atlanta. Uh, no, <laughs> you looked at me all funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. She's probably going to watch. <laughs> okay. Well, or well, hopefully, hopefully she is watching. I didn't mean to, to start it. Like I just didn't know where, <laughs> where we we're going to do names that way. I didn't want to, you know, but I'm yeah. interested to hear about this story with um, you and Julie. Sorry well, yeah, about that. you know Julie. So we keep in touch, right? So, you know, even though we're in two different states now, like we still work at the same company and we schedule like a monthly sync where we just connect and we're just like, hey girl, how's it going? You know, that's just like a really good example of like keeping in touch virtually. Um, but yeah, I really use like social media as a platform just to meet new people too and try to make myself like as present as I can be just reaching out, commenting, you know, when they post, just showing that I'm actually there. Um, that has really, really gone a long way. Um, virtually. So those are just some things to think about. Um, there obviously we're in this like crazy world right now where, you know, for him, he's still out in the field and we're in this virtual world. So we've got to figure out how to like maneuver that. Um, but you definitely can. And I feel like either way it goes, like if you're an entrepreneur or if you're in corporate America, it is very, very important to build those relationships, especially if with people that you know um, are going to be going along the path that you want to be on. Like, as I said before, but I'm curious, I want to know more about like how, um, it has impacted like your business, like, 
um, making sure to build those relationships. I mean, of course, we're in the real estate industry, but I would love to hear about like how that has really, really helped you like over time. I definitely think like building relationships has has definitely impacted my business. Like, um, and I learned this from like, I'm not gonna say like I'm the real estate like guru or anything like that, or I'm the relationship guru, right? But there's a guy that kind of, when I first moved to Arizona and I joined this new team, he's not, he was, he was like, um, he was like a, what I call a free agent. But every time I talk to him and I see him like handling stuff for all his clients, and I'm like, dude, like you talk to your clients like they're like your best friends. And he was like, well, they are my best friends because he was like, I'm going to help them buy one house. You know, hopefully I get to five. He's like, five is a sweet number. And the reason I got to turn everybody into a friend is because that's where I want to go. And every time someone levels up, they have more friends. And then they, 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 they tell them how great I am. And it improves my business. So with that lesson and with that being taught, and a lot of people say that, right? A lot of people say, oh my God, just, just build the relationship and you know, and your business will thrive. But like this guy really cares about the other person, not just caring enough so you can do a deal. Like I really care. So I think that taking that and putting that into, into my business ha has definitely helped me elevate from like the ground. Like I'm not at the top yet, but, but I'm close and I, and I can feel it and I can feel like people for whatever reason, like she was saying before, people gravitate towards us. Like generally I don't have, like even when we're out, if we're just like, oh, let's just go grab a beer or let's go grab some food. Like I end up in our conversations with random people all the time. Drops her very crazy because I can just be like, she's like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And I'll be like, okay, cool. And then it'll be just something random. And I'll be like, oh man, that's a cool jacket. And that that comment of, oh man, that's a cool jacket turns into, oh cool, thanks man. Well, what, what are you guys doing around here? Or where are you guys from? And then it turns into, so when someone asks me where I'm from, I was like, oh, this is great. I got you. Like I can go ahead and give you where I'm from and I can now insert more questions to learn about you. And then what I also do is not, is because the reason why we're, we're saying like social media matters. Like a lot of people are on the fence with, Oh, should you use social media? Should you not use social media? Yeah. Social media matters because it it continues to keep you, and you don't have to. You don't have like because it's weird, right? It's really weird if like I'm not in your friend circle and I call you like twice a week and like, oh man, how's it going? What, what are you up to? So with social media, I don't have to do that. I can literally see what you're posting and be like, oh cool, that that either, whatever's going on, either that's great. Or that's bad, like, and have a genuine, like, response to whatever they're they're doing. Yeah. Cause, like, you know, cause that, that is what matters. Even with like, even with like one of my really, really good friends, just just gone through something very tragic in his life, and he said something on social, and because like, if I only had his social, I would have probably responded to a social. But I'm also being, and if I know you in real life, like, I'm going to text you in real life or I'm going to call you in real life. Like I think that's that's the that's how you use social to stay to stay engaged with We're your friends. Connected all but, together. Yeah, but then you can be like, "Oh man, you're going through a hard time. Pick up the phone, call them, you know, and like cuz a lot of times people just need people just want you to be a voice of like compassion. So, you know, I think that that is just, you know, definitely building helping me build my business um like I, I mean it's just doing well for me i don't know how else to say it is because i care so much about the other person on the other end before i care about myself because you know and and i'll say this and and then i'll and then i'll stop talking because i can go on and on forever you guys know i love to talk but i'll say this like one of my one of my models is building kings so what that means is like I don't really like being the forefront of anything, which is weird. I'm sitting here on camera talking to you guys today.
but I generally don't like this part of it. I like to be behind the scenes like, hey, that, that deal went great for you because I sent you over here and that per okay, cool. That's great. I don't want anything. I don't want anything for it. That's, that's, but that's building kings. So whenever I interact with different people, I try to get something that maybe I can help them out in and then help them that way. And that's how my business has started to grow. My relationships have started to grow. Like everything has started to grow just, just based off that. That's great, babe. Um, I have seen you come a really, really long way. Um, obviously, you know, we've been together for 12 years. So um, it's really, really good to see like your perspective now versus like then, like when you were, you know, first started starting out and learning, I can tell that you've definitely learned a lot and it has really impacted your business in a good way. So that's why I really wanted to know, like, so you feel like building relationships has really been um, the reason for a lot of that growth uh, is what it sounds like. No, abs really I mean, good. absolutely. Because what happens what and recently what happened is I was in a transitional period. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And because you know, my friend, um, I'll just say it and we're saying names. So my friend Vance was like, hey, man, don't worry about what's going on. I got you. Like, you're you're great. You're dope. We're going to figure this out together. And then he was like, oh, this other people, they're, they're trying to build this. I think you would be a good fit. I mentioned your name. You're good. Just go talk to them. So yeah. that's the importance of building relationships, right? And these are guys that, they, I mean, they really don't need me to help them in really for anything they're they're doing that well for for themselves but because i had a friend that was like hey you're you're, you're good this is a good circle you, you mean well hey and then it just kind of went from there now we're now we're going going crazy with it i was going to speak on that um because one of the things that i noticed for me and i know for you it's a little bit different because it's more of like you're, you're you know you're building your own business but since i'm in corporate america I see the importance of building relationships a little bit different in the fact that I'm more so building connections with people who can present opportunities later down the line. So it's, it's I guess it's kind of similar in the way, um, but it's more of like thinking of like, oh, wow, great. You were interested in this. I remember us talking about that. Well, hey, there's an opportunity over here, you know, and so I do see the importance of that. Um, in corporate America to help you get to where you want to go. Um, so I see it more that way. And then when it comes to social media, I totally agree with you. Like, I do think that it is so very important to like use social as a way to like stay in um, contact with people and with multiple people at once. Like you said, like how many times, like, you know, my family's not here. So I start thinking, okay, I need to call my mom. I need to call my sister. I need to call, you know, like, and it starts to add up how many people I need to reach out to. Imagine if I also had to add my friends to that list you know I try my best to text but like social media is an easy way to just check in and see what's going on with people you know so because I'm already on there so I do see it as a way to just like quickly check in see what's going on see all everything at once versus like having to individually reach out um, so I definitely recommend using social media and plus you can meet a lot of people on there. I've met so many people who are in different, like globally, like in different countries and things like that. Like that's not something that you can do every day. Like when, unless you're on vacation, right? <laughs> you meet people that way. So, um, definitely an advocate for that too. I guess my question to, to you is like, because what we've been doing is we've also been building relationships, you know separately in our in our work field but we've also been trying to build relationships you know together and you know branding ourselves as mm -hmm. a couple when we when we're out but can you talk about how how that how that works for you yeah like for I know you're so used to being out and like meeting people so I I generally tend to just take a step back and let you lead um you know, especially when it comes to like genders, like if it's a male, like I'm like, okay, Jason's got this, you know, like I'm just going to take a step back and I try to be mindful of the fact that it's a man, I am married, Jason can have that conversation, he can get that contact information and then whenever we all like meet up, then I'm just present, I'm there, you know, I'm present and um, active. And so it's vice versa, like when it's a woman, like 
I would expect for you to do the same, you know, nine times out of 10, it's, it's been, it's been men <laughs> from my experience, just cause like you guys talk about sports and stuff. Um, but like, usually if it's a lady, it's like, you're not really involved at all. <laughs> it's usually just like, Hey girl, I love you. You know? And it's just usually my interaction. Um, but I feel like as a couple being present is like very, very important for us because then it shows like, oh, they both care. It's not just one person that's not just one sided. And so from that, we both get invited to a lot of different things. Like people really enjoy us together. Um, so I think that that's pretty cool. I'd say most of, our, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Most of our friends mm -hmm. probably enjoy her <laughs> and her bubbly energy probably over, over my energy. But they're like, uh, well, we want to see Keisha, but all right, we'll invite Jason just, <laughs> just because. But no, um, and no, with all, all jokes aside, like, honestly, like, if we're out, I generally, even if I'm out solo, I generally, because, again, that, that gender, that gender role is, is kind of like a, a weird, like, line. You don't ever really, really want to cross it. And a lot of times, like, I'm a big person. Sometimes I used to say, well, however you got to wherever your opinion was, that's when you, I, I know what my intentions were getting into the conversation but mm -hmm. because my wife is like no you, you can't you, you can't do that and i was like no i can't like i got into the conversation it's not my fault they feel like it should go a, a certain a different way and but she's like nope and now i feel the same way like well she used to be like well what happens if it's a dude and i'm like oh okay cool yep you're right i don't want to go box and do all those things but so what we've kind of done is like me I only really try to approach other other males. Sometimes in business, it, it, you have to, like in business, in a business setting, sometimes I have to interact with other females in the business um, of real estate. Um, so that's one of those things that just have to happen. But I'm not like, a lot of times, I don't go and be like, hey, like, like let's talk about this. Like, but I will with, with the guy, and I will do that with the guy at a random bar, at a random restaurant, because it's, it's, it's just easy, easier for me as a male to get through that. And I, and I think we got to, especially as a married, as married people, as people in couples, we got to make sure we walk that fine line of, of the gender, the gender roles, right? And a lot of times, like, especially like, you know, if another person is married, I'm always like, well, hey, well, when can we all get together and hang out? Because you know, what we're trying to do now is build more friends with married couples. That way we're, anytime we would want to go out, it's it's a date between four, six, eight, ten people or, or, you know, or what have you. Yeah, just like we have dinner coming up with our two cool friends that are married. <laughs> yeah, 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 which. So good example of that. Yeah, you which. Know? Made or your that, clients. Yeah, we've made that relationship. <laughs> um, somebody yeah. that mm -hmm. I worked with referred me to them, then they became my clients, helped them get into a deal, and now we're friends and we have dinner. I mean, we don't, we're not like, we don't talk every day, but we do try to have dinner at least once every two months or so, um, you know? Yeah. And I, they're super dope people, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And that's all we try to be around is super dope people. We try to be super dope to people. And I guess my biggest advice to you guys when you guys are, are building relationships is, there's no right or wrong way about doing it. But what I learned in real estate, and it's the same thing, I, I learned a lot through real estate that I've put into my regular everyday life. And what we as real estate agents know, the gold is in the follow-up. Same thing with building relationships. The gold is in the follow-up. And that's why you ask all those questions up front. So when you go back and you say, okay, cool. Or you're, you're a car salesman, you're whatever, whatever they do, you call them. And then you say, hey, how's blah, blah, blah going? You guys get into another conversation and then people enjoy talking to you. And then you'll see them start calling and reaching out to you instead of you calling and reaching out to them. Yep. And that's the same as just checking in too and keeping in touch with people, you know, um, and if you are in a relationship, th these are conversations that you can have with your significant other, right? Just ask the question, have that conversation of like, all right, when it comes to meeting people, just make sure to like, cause we already know, like we, we've been together for so long that it's like, we're like instant. Okay. 
we know Jason's getting that contact. It's, it's a male. You know what I mean? Like, we already know. So, like, don't be afraid to have those conversations. And I'm curious to know, um, Jason, like, when I'm not around, <laughs> what that looks like. Are you just, like, telling people, like, oh, yeah, you have to meet my wife? It sounds like, like, well, that's the approach. So, so, I will say this. If it's, a, if it's a, if I'm talking to a female, no matter if it's real estate related or someone's just like, hey, meet my friend, blah, blah, blah. Promise to God, the first like 30 seconds, I say something about my wife. I say like, and my go-to is like, oh, my wife, you, my wife would love to hang out with you. Like she, she's super dope. And then so they know, okay, he, he one, I'm, I'm married. So I've already, I've already said that. So, so you, you, you've, hear, you've heard it out of my mouth and I care about my wife and generally like my wife is dope. So I don't really necessarily know how I go into those conversations, but everyone that's ever met her that I'm like, oh, my wife would Aww. absolutely enjoy you and your company. They'd be like, oh man, your wife is dope. I mean, literally like I have people around my office that are like, hey, when's the next time your wife's going to come in? Cause like, she's cool, Aww. you know, that kind of thing. Um, but so that's how, that's how that, that generally goes, goes for me. Okay. Um, that's I, good to know. I always wondered, cause I, I know that there have been times where you would say, oh, you need to meet so-and-so. And then I'd come in and they'd be like, I've heard so much about you, men and, or, you know, male or female, not just, you know, female. And so it's it's kind of cool to know that. And I think that that's a good tip to take, take into your relationship too. If you are with someone that you know you want to be with, you know, for a, a longer period of time or marriage, um, that that's a good approach for them too. Well, it's just anything. Cool. And the reason why I take it approach, because I'm around some very high level males and very high level women and my wife as you guys know is so huge on women empowerment as all these other high level females that i'm around so when i talk to them i'm like dude you guys gotta meet my wife because she could help you with whatever and she's just going to try and insert herself and she's she doesn't want anything in return so she's going to be super dope in, in that way. So I that that's how generally the conversations cool. go. And that's why you'd be like, oh, you already said to me such and such and such. And I'm like, yeah, because they're, they're cool. You're cool. And, you know, we all could be. Yeah. It's, I mean, honestly, I, it's been great. Um, I really enjoy like connecting with people and meeting new people. I mean, I know it's been, like I said before, like pretty much virtually since I'm at home <laughs> for work, nine times out of 10, we're home and unless it's the weekend and we're going out. Um, but it's really cool to just like be a part of like what you have going on, you know? Um, so I really appreciate you including me. So I do want you to know that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this has really, really helped and just know that building relationships is like key business, um, especially like if you're looking for like to get to a certain place, you know, having that mentor, super important building relationships with a person, um, that's already headed on that path. Super important. Stay connected with your people, your friends, your family, even new people that you meet. Um, any other important tidbits to know there that you no, want to touch on there aren't really anything that i feel like is more important than not it's just yeah we're like for whatever reason we've gotten away as a community as a culture of the importance of building relationships we, we kind of think that it's not needed but it is um, in any business that you're doing the most important the most important part of that business is a customer so, and the customer is generally going to be a person that you have to build some type of relationship with to get them to do a certain type of action. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just on a business standpoint. And then we all want to have a fulfilling life of abundance with a bunch of friends that we can show love to, we can have, make life experiences with. So in that frame, building relationships is also important. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't have any other advice other than just go out here and just start, just start building it. Just start meeting, yes. meeting new people. And be um, genuine. I was going to just add that. Be genuine and authentic. Don't try to be, 
anyone else or try to change up to make someone like you because they're going to like you for you and they should like you for you. So just be yourself, um, have good intentions and have that good energy and you'll be fine. Well, guys, that's been, uh, we've had a very wonderful conversation today. Um, hopefully some of the things that we've said and that we've been doing in our life resonates with you guys and you guys use it. We're always going to be here to show you guys that that love is a verb. No matter what you do or what you're passionate about, if you're passionate about your significant others as we are passionate about each other, you know, there's love there. There's love in building your brand. There's love in building your business. Mm -hmm. So guys, go out here with love and build everything that you want to build. You know, um, we're just here. Uh, we got some good advice, I feel like, because we're actively building at the same time. Um, we'd love for you guys to like, share, comment. Let us know what you think about the episode. Let us know about some topics you might want us to talk about. We'd, we'd love to, we'd love to, you know, bring you up along with this journey as well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're going to have some more um, topics like this coming soon um, and share more with you and just appreciate you all and hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.